Hello everybody, I'm Sharp and Blade, and today I have an unboxing from Monterey Bay Knives. So, I'm going to use the Slayback to open this. Uh, by the way, uh, update on this, a very helpful viewer uh, gave me some tips to try taking this apart again, and I did, and I flipped the bearings around like they said to do and it works um, much better still have to it's still not completely drop shutty but it's very very close and the detent somehow <laughs> got stronger too so that's uh, that's great just a little update on that thank you very much to that viewer you know who you are <laughs> just in case they don't want me to say their name but they probably don't care but whatever just in case so one two three and some stickers oh these are awesome very cool very cool very cool okay so what one? I don't know which is which. I don't know where should I start. I'll start with this one. So this is the pincher. Um, oh, there's I'm missing this cleaning cloth and such in here too. Is there extra? Yeah, down the yeah. There's extra hardware in here too. Just down in the pocket of the pouch, some extra hardware for it. It's so cool that they include extra hardware. But uh, put that back in there, put that in there. Okay, so this is the pincher. Of course I open the wrong side. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's a nice texture on there. Okay, let's see now. Centering, perfect. Milling. <laughs> Perfect. They do such a good job on their knives. Okay. Uh, let's see what this action's like. Whoa, okay. Nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so nice. Oh my goodness, this is nice. My dog clickety clacking around. Wow. Really, really nice. The detent is. Let's see if I can fail this. Nope. Well, I just tried once. Let's try again. No, the detent is like, it's not hard, but it's dialed in perfect. It's so easy to flip, but it's not, it's still snappy. Oh man, this is really nice. I like this. Okay, so that's the pincher. Uh, uh, my favorite color in knives lately has been blue, so I'll leave that till the end. We'll go with this one. Oh, oh yeah, oh man. oh man, that looks awesome, even in the bag. So let's see what we've got here for. Again, you got a cleaning cloth and. I don't know if there's any, I don't think there's any extra hardware in this one. Which there would make sense because it's blacked out, so. And there. Oh my goodness, look at that carbon fiber. So this is a limited release, I think a limited release of the, uh, sorry, put that back on screen okay of the sleigh back double detent uh, all blacked out with look at that carbon fiber holy smokes that's nice oh <laughs> that's so snappy oh man is that snappier or about the same as the EWC oh sometimes still mess that up no, it's about the same. Look at that. 
Oh my goodness, that's nice. Holy crap. <laughs> that is so nice. Very, very cool. Oh man, that looks good. All right, and then this one. So now I know what this one is. <laughs> this is the mini old garage. It's really not that mini. <laughs> so again, cleaning cloth and um, extra hardware in the bottom of the couch there. Uh, again, I like that texture. That's nice. Not all titanium is created equally <laughs> or used equally or whatever. But yeah, this is so nice feeling. It's got like a little bit of texture, so it's not slippery. It's got a little bit of grip to it. That's really nice. Now, centering. Oh, I didn't check the centering on this one. Centering, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see. Or it's hardware, it's all black. Centering's perfect on that too. Um, centering on this one. Perfect. Now I've heard that the detent's not necessarily that strong on these knives. So, only one way to find out <laughs> how strong the detent is, you gotta flip it out. Okay, yeah, it's, the detent is, uh, oh, that's smooth. The detent's not overly strong, but it's still, like, what's that running on? Is that on bearings or washers? Might just be tightened down. Sanford reached out and asked uh, if there's, if I've ever had problems shipping knives into Canada. And I said I have in the past a couple times. So if you just kind of crank down on the uh, pivot, then usually if they can't flip it out, it's usually good. So I think that's what he did here. So uh, still like, <laughs> Uh, it's just the drop, the drop that I noticed it. Uh, it doesn't feel too tight on deployment. That feels so nice. Like, yeah, the detent's not overly strong, but it's such a nice flick with the thumb, and it should be okay. Yeah, with the middle finger. Oh, my goodness. The reverse flick on this is so nice, too. Oh, it hit my finger. Just a second. Okay, I keep hitting my finger. Of course I say that, and then... There we go. <laughs> Take a little bit of getting used to, but yeah, it's just a drop I noticed. It might need to be loosened up a little bit, but man, that is so smooth. That's like glassy smooth. So nice. Now the air goes on these. The air goes on this. Well, right now, it's fantastic air goes on this one. This is, this fits my hand almost perfectly you can feel the pocket clip because the pocket clip exists <laughs> but it's not a hot spot now that's nice ergos on that are nice i'm going to i'm going to loosen the pivot on that and then in the review i'll update on whether that fixes that it's not even that big of a problem it probably just break in anyways but we'll just we'll see uh ergos on this already they're probably pretty similar to the e to the uh slayback um, I was going to say EWC, but it's kind of a mix between the EWC and the Slayback, but yeah, her ghosts are good on this too. They're good to go. And pincher. Oh my goodness, that action is so nice. Uh, yeah, her, her ghosts are perfect on this. Lots of room on the handle for my hand. Thumb feels good up here on the blade if you need to put a little bit more power into your cut. But yeah. Oh my goodness, this is a nice feeling knife. I like this a lot. Very impressive. So I've got a full size old guard coming. I snagged one of the um, frame lock ones that they released within the last few days. So that's coming. And uh, yeah, hopefully when I can afford it, I'll pick up uh, an XLC and uh, yeah, the MBK family is growing. <laughs> oh man, these are excellent knives. Like I, I say this every time I make a video with uh, Monterey Bay knives in it. I am 
I feel so stupid for ignoring the company as long as I did. They make such a great knife. So, um, yeah, uh, look out for the reviews on these. I know I've got a lot of unboxings lately, but the reviews are coming. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, before I ramble on too long, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video to Monterey Bay Knives. Make sure you check them out. Um, the EWC is available right now, I believe, and you can still get uh, the mini this size. This one is available too, the mini all guard. And I'm not sure if the pincher is available. It kind of goes in stock and out of stock sometimes, but that might be available. And about the XLC, the uh, large, um, it's it's a bit more expensive, but it's an integral. Is it integral or integral? I don't know, people say both. <laughs> but it looks awesome too, and, and it's supposed to be really, really good. So uh, it's available too. But uh, yeah, anyways, check them out. Um, thanks so much for watching. Take care.